Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am very busy today because I we removed a compost from the napier stems. If you can remember my previous video, we I collect the I normally collect the napier stems from the goat's house. The the stems of napier that they are na they would not like to eat and also the dried leaves of the napier grass i collected it from the goat's house and we put here on this compost place there and then now we remove the first and the second batch and we strain because the stem, uh, the napier grass stems are very hard to. Uh, it uh, it takes so long to decompose. So we strain, and we get uh, plenty soil compost out of it. After we strain two times to get the. As you can see, the soil is good. So it's Christian's idea actually before to collect the napier stem and to put in the compost like this we can use the compost soil later so and that later is now because this is now our first harvest of the soil compost from the napier stems so it's a very good idea um rather than throwing the napier stems the exist of the goats uh, throwing rather than throwing them on the oops i get some somebody here <laughs> you're not a compost no <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so as I have said, it's better to make compost from the napier stems rather than throwing them. And if we just throw them without uh, putting a cover or something to decompose them, uh, they always grow and they uh, they look bad. Ah, somebody on my back. Oh, <laughs> it's too black now. And the mother. Uh, you will help me or what? Huh? You will help me? Yes, yeah, so we have nice compost after. I don't. I'm sorry, I cannot give you how many months before we get this compost soil from the Napier stems because. We just add and add until and then we cover. So I don't really have an exact uh, number of days. And sure, they need more, more days, more to decompose because there are plenty of pure stems that are not composted, and we transfer them over there on the third batch. And then after that, we will keep the third batch and then we will start the new batch of compost here. So now what I am doing is I am collecting this soil compost and I put in the cement sack. But normally we will not use them immediately because uh, we still have a stack of compost to be used in the garden and also I on my previous video I collected 16 cement sacks on, of compost on the other side of the farm where I found a snake <laughs> and fortunately there is no snake on this side here so and then so as I have said we will not use this immediately because we still have compost soil on stock so it means when they stay in the cement sack they can have the more time to decompose the smaller uh, stems that are included because we just use the bigger screen to strain it 
and then we used all the tools of Christian to remove the I used all the tools of Christian to remove the uh, compost from there so yeah I was just showing our new compost from the Napier stems which is for me it's really a very good idea <clears throat> So I don't know how much, how many sack of cement sacks I can get, I can get, but uh, maybe four or maybe five sacks, and I need to strain more from that area before we put the new batch of uh, dried leaves, and it it will be mixed na for the dried leaves and for the stem, and also other, especially the third batch over there. We will cover that later and we will water and mix also. It's a mix of it's a mix of all dried leaves and kitchen uh, garbage and all papers, cartoons we put all the biodegradable we put there. So that's all for today. It's all about our compost soil from the Napier stems. Thank you so much for watching our simple channel. I will have I will continue my work. Christian is also busy and uh and the house. Yeah, thank you and God bless.